Hi Reed, hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 3 of the Leeds United career mode. Now straight away we're going to get into some transfers. We did have a comment come in in one of the last episodes from Shane Connolly. He said to take a look at Todd Cantwell. Now unfortunately I think we've left it a little bit too late to scout him for this transfer window but we definitely will be looking at him in January. Uh, I haven't seen too much about him to tell you the truth but I think his rating's reasonably low in this but with the likes of dynamic potential being a thing... You never know, he could grow into an absolutely fantastic player for it. He does have the, has that special something on him, but I think that's just something to do with the flair trait. But still, he's definitely going to be someone I'm going to be considering in the future. But for this one, I think we're definitely going to be pulling the trigger on Bordeaux. He's only going to cost one between 3.8 and 5.5 mil. I'll be looking to get him on the lower end. And another one is going to be Wagnerman. We're going to be definitely bringing him in as well with the likes of Oloski and stuff like that. They're not good enough. He's going to be someone that will grow into a fantastic first team player and he'll be ideal for the Premier League when we we'll finally get there. So, we're going to do Bordeaux first. We'll see if we can get him. I'm going to be looking to pay at least 3.3 for him. If I can get him for that, that'll be an absolute steal. Yeah, we'll go then. Transfer fee. I'll be cheeky. I'll offer three. We'll do the good old sell on. Close. 3.4. I don't think that's too bad. I'm going to accept that. So there we go. Bordeaux, 3.4 mil. I think that's an absolute bargain. There we go then. Bordeaux, he's now part of Leeds. I'm really happy with that deal. He's going to be the number nine for one now as well, since Bamford's gone. So hopefully he can live up to that number. Wagnerman's up next. I'm going to be pushing for pretty cheap on this, to tell you the truth. I think we can do some cheeky deals and get him for uh, probably a lot less than 1.1 mil. There we go then, 940,000, not a lot less than 1.1 mil, but still, I think that's a pretty good deal, me. There he is then, Wagnerman, he's looking good in that Leeds United shirt. I think he's definitely going to be a good one for the future. Going to close out this transfer window now, see if we get any, any other offers. We probably won't, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and I've had to eat my words straight away, we've had an offer in for Aylin and Oloski. I don't know what to do in regards to this, to tell you the truth. Oloski, they've come in with... Just over 2 mil. And Aylin is 2.5. I think I'm going to reject the Aylin one. I don't know about Oloski though. With Wagnerman, I want him to get some game time. He's going to give her an extra 2 mil. You know what it is? I'm going to accept that. He's not been fantastic for her. And I don't think Leeds United fans like him that much. I could be wrong. But there you go. There we go then. End of the transfer window. I think we've had a pretty successful one, if you ask me. Spent 24 mil. Brought in some really good young talent. And we've sold Dallas, Klitsch, Bamford, Nolosky. And we've got a 12 mil profit off that. So, like I say, I think that's pretty good in my eyes. Get some training in for the lads here. And one thing I was going to ask is, is there any player that you specifically want us to train up? So we'll get that potential up there. Let us know in the comments and we'll get that done. So, getting on to the games for this episode. We've got Swansea City up first. They're currently sitting in second, so I think that's going to be a massive game straight away. Then we've got Barnsley. We've got Derby. We've got Sheffield United in the Cup. And then, to close out the episode, we've got Charlton. So, let's get into this game against Swansea. So, this game against Swansea, we're going to have the same lineup. Bodu is on the bench, so I'm going to be looking to bring him on as an impact sub. He's not going to get first-team football straight away. But once he develops a little bit, he'll definitely be in there. Okay, with the ball, are you? What a save. What a save, son. Graham Birch, is he onside? It's been brought down. Penalty, come on. Is he off? He's off. Come on. See you later, Jack. To our son. Just flicked him up. He went flying. Right, see if we can go 1-0 up here. Who's stepping up? Oh, come on. It's down to you, son. Keep us saved it. I knew. I just knew. Swansea could be in here. The art. Silly Sue. Get the ball away. How? How? Ten men and we've went one nil down. This is a joke, this. The state of it. Salisu getting the ball away. Easy for him. 
Swansea's in again. Salisu, he, ha he hasn't got the speed here. If they go 2 0 up, this is a joke. Cosa with a save. My God. Well, we've lost 1 0 to Swansea, who had 10 men. Absolutely diabolical. I just can't get over that leg. Well, they're going to ask me, yeah, this should be interesting. It was somewhat of a disheartening performance for Bordy as he failed to make an impression on his first match as a Leeds player. What do you make of such a dis. Keep it realistic. Get a, get a grip, man. Well, I have high expectations for him. Have to keep it realistic. It's going to take some time for him to feel comfortable. Why didn't we see Wagner, man? Because you've got to wait, man. Good things come to those who wait. I'm excited. And Wagner, man, is champing at the bit to show exactly what he's made of. A difficult game today. The players seem to be lacking in confidence. They did. They just didn't want to play. I don't think I registered had a shot on target. Our confidence is solid. I'm going to have to say that to keep it up. The morale is down. I don't know what's going on here, like. Right, see you later, mate. Tra. Next game up's against Barnsley. Hopefully we can play a hell of a lot better than we did in that game against Swansea. We'll attend this press conference. See what these delightful reporters have got to ask win this one. Fagnerman's transfer from Hamburg stands out as one of the bargains of the year. Will he make his debut against Barnsley? I don't know. He needs time to adjust. He probably will, though. I'm not going to risk playing him when he's not physically or mentally ready for the game. Aylin is in good form. Will we see more of him today? Mebbies. Rotation's key. I'm looking after the players in the squad and their desire to play. Aye, whatever. Does the team have the quality to get back on track? Of course. We're always thinking positively and confidently we've got the quality to still challenge for the title. Well, I'd like to think so. Right, thanks very much to our on to that game. So, Bodu is going to be getting a start in this one. So, I'm hoping he can deliver. <sighs> Anything's better than that last game against Swansea, like. Wagner, man. Come on. De La Vega. Roberts. Phillips. Bodu. He's in here. Shoots. Bodu scores. Come on, son. What a goal. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Is it outside the box? Just inside. Absolutely blazes it in though. Barnsley are all over here. The rain. What a save. What a save, son. Bordeaux's playing in De La Vega. Come on, son. Oh my God, what was that? That was one of the worst misses ever, that. Look at the state of this. Oh, it should be 2-0. Mistakes all over. Another save from Kassia. Oh my god, he's saving with bacon so much like. Schmidt. What a load of Schmidt. Eh? There's another bad joke for you. Bordeaux shoots. Oh my god, I didn't realise that would happen. Like. Oh. Oh, Barnsley could be in here. Oh, lucky that he missed that like. Oh, we're well held on. One goal in it. Got to be happy that Bordeaux scored. But, Barnsley, all the pressure. Like After that game against Barnsley, we're currently in 7th place on 13 points. But Middlesbrough are top and they're only on 16. So there's only 3 points in it. So it's still all to play for. There's plenty of games left to go. But still, it looks like we're doing bad in 7th place. But when you consider it's only 3 points... I think we're doing all right. Game up against Derby now then. Bordeaux's going to be getting a start again with him getting that goal in the last one. I'm hoping he's going to be the difference and we can pick up another three points. De La Vega could be in here. Got the pace. Gibbs White shocking. Folly though. Come on son, De La Vega. He's made up for it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, that was pretty lucky that, but I'm, I'm happy with that goal. Plays it back. Oh, Graven Birch skies it over the bar. Plays in Bordeaux here. Come on, son. Takes his time. 2-0. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, son. Two goals in two games for him. The time that he had here. 
slow down. Nice little shot. There we go. Corner for Derby here. Played it back. He's done us. Ball's in though. Rid of it. Oh, what is... That was such a weak goal, that. I'm not happy with that one, like. Another corner from Derby here. Ball's in. Oh, my God. Two corners and we've conceded twice. I do not believe this, like. Derby County look like they could be in. Oh, my God. 90th minute and he scored. I do not believe this. I do not believe it. I am... Oh, my God. The state of the defending again. We deserve to lose this now. We deserve it. Shocking. 2 nil up. And then we'll lose 3-2. Well, I'm absolutely devastated after that game. I don't know how we went 2 nil up. And we threw it all away. And lost 3-2. It just wasn't good enough. I don't know what happened. It's like they just thought, that nah, we're fine. We'll settle on the draw. Give up. And that was that. So, the rest of this episode though. We've got Sheffield United next in the cup. That should be interesting. And then, to end the episode, we've got Charlton. Hopefully, I'm not too optimistic against Sheffield United, but Charlton, I'm fingers crossed, we can pick up three points there. So, this first game against Sheffield United in the Cup, I knew it was going to be hard. That's what she said. But, we did have a decent chance in the beginning. Hitting the post, though. We're unlucky there. Then Sheffield did do this little acrobatic. But what the keeper was thinking at this point, I do not know. Nearly conceding, but he did make up for it with a class save. And then this happened. Open goal. Sheffield United slotting it away. They went up 1-0. Then Marin had a little chance here. It was just wide. Felt bad for the lad. And they went and did this. Nice little 1-2. They were in again. Slotting it away. Went up losing 2-0. And that was us out of the cup. This game against Charlton, there was now to write home about. We were lucky not to go 1-0 down early on. But it did come down to the 88th minute. Fabio Silva with the only goal. Secure on the win for her. Well done, son. Well, at least when the episode on a win, it was a close game against Charlton. But Fabio Silva coming good in the end. Scoring that late winner. I was chuffed with that. Looking at the table, we're still sitting in 7th. Won 16 points. Middlesbrough are top now with 22. They've definitely pulled away. We're going to be looking to close that gap in the next episode. But we're going to leave things there. So if you like the episode, drop a like, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.